and welcome back to another Paul's Aquariums unboxing. We have tons of fish in this video. It's over three days, so we have a very, very cool shrimp. We have some angel fish. Yes, those are angel fish. <laughs> we have some native fish and we have other fish. We're going to start with the first box because that's a very, very sensible thing to do. And the first bag. Oh, wow. Okay, they're tiny. <laughs> those are super, super tiny barramundi. Barramundi. Every, Every day, day is a Sunday, Sunday with fishing, fishing barramundi. barramundi. Look how little they are. These are one of the biggest fish in Australia. They get six foot long. They will survive in full fresh, but they will go into the ocean. So salt water to sort of breed and stuff like that. Very, very predatory. Get big, as I said. Six foot, that's bigger than your TV. Unless you've got a really big TV. You might. <laughs> But we have them back in stock while wow, they are tiny. They're going to be eating bloodworms, brine shrimp at this size. Very cute. They grow super, super fast. So in about a year, they're going to be 30, 40 centimeters. And then just keep growing from there. We have guppies. And that was a jump. These are an American fish. They will get that size. So not very big, three to four centimeters. Very cool colors. So I think there's a few bags of them in here. So mixed guppies. We also got some really, really cool mixed guppy cross endlers. I'm pretty sure they're guppy cross endlers. Not too sure, the person that dropped them off a few days ago. But look at them. They're very colorful. They have endler patterns. They could be pure guppies, but we're just selling them as a cross because it's hard to say. Very, very cool. If you want something very nice, very? If you want something very nice, they are awesome. And more community fish. We have some really nice red and white swords. Hopefully there's a couple of bags of those in here. I'm pretty sure there is. Look at them, they are nice. They're called sword tails because the male has a sword on the tail, like a pointy fin down the bottom, and the females don't. Very easy to breed. They have live babies the same as the guppies do. All round, very cool fish. They're gonna get about that big. <laughs> See you work out how big that big is. And more South American fish. We have some rummy nose tetras. Again, a very nice community fish. Bright red nose, stripy tail, schooling. So you want to get a group of these. Guppies and that doesn't really matter. These guys like to be in a group. So you want to get about five or six together in a tank and they will be fine. More native fish. Looks like silver perch. These will get 30, 40 centimeters. Perfect for dams big chunky silver perch these would actually be really good for aquaponics and if you haven't seen my aquaponic video there might be a link at the end of this video but yes very very cool fish get big silver as i said and they're perch what more can you really say about silver perch south america again we have some black widow tetras or black skirt tetras depending on what part of the world you live in Nice. I think we had the leucistic version, which is like the albino with the black eyes last week. These are the black ones. So obviously you can see on the screen there, hopefully they've all colored up, maybe. <laughs> but they have a really, really nice black and silver pattern to them. They'll get around about that 20 cent piece size. Really cool, chunky fish, super peaceful. Not gonna eat plants, not gonna eat other fish. Obviously gonna eat baby fish, but what fish doesn't eat a baby fish? from other baby fish. We have some neon tetras. Again, very common, very awesome. Bright fluorescent blue, bright red, lovely little white belly. What more can you say? They are one of the most common and iconic tropical fish you can get. Very cool. Southeast Asian fish, we have some cherry barbs. Like a neon, same size, but bright red. The males go a really cherry red color, hence the name Cherry Barb, and the females go Barb, hence the name Barb. These are not nippy, a lot of other barbs are, and I think there might be a few different barbs in here, but Cherry Barbs are one of the most peaceful barbs you can get, so you can have them in a nice community tank without the stress of them nipping fins and all that sort of stuff. And we have more barbs, just like that. We have Tiger Barbs, looks like a mixture of albino, which are albino, <laughs> green Tiger Barbs and your normal stripy Tiger Barbs. So they're the three main colours, there are a few other different colours again, schooling, 
a little bit nippy, so you can keep the things like sword tails and that. You don't want to keep them with guppies. They'd be okay with neons and so on and so on. Looks like we have more guppies, talking about guppies. And lots more perch. I think there are quite a few perch. That was box number one. We're going to box number two. I don't know why I did that. Still doing that. No, I'm not. Box number two. Oh, they are not fish. We have blue pearl yabbies. Looks like quite a few of those. Very cool. Very blue. Very yabby. So yabby is just an Australian name for a crayfish. They will get around about that size. Fluoro blue. They are predatory, so if you keep them with fish, at night they're going to be on the prowl, chopping your plants up, trying to eat your fish. But if you just want a very cool pet in a tank, a blue crayfish is awesome. Some fish they won't eat for a while until they decide to eat them. <laughs> Just a matter of time. It's up to you, but we would not recommend mixing with fish if you like your fish. And we have some cold water fish. We have medakas. Looks like a mixture of blacks, blues, and gold medaka. Should be quite a few bags of those. Haven't seen medakas, they're Japanese rice fish. These are the cold water version. There are some tropical rice fish from around the world. These ones will live unheated in Southeast Queensland. So great for little ponds, unheated tanks. If you want something cool, they also are pretty easy to breed. They have eggs, but their egg clusters sort of, they lay eggs, very, very easy to breed. The female will deposit the eggs. They will hatch to little tiny fry. I think if you saw my last fish room video, I have lots of little black baby ones of these, which are probably almost the size of these now, so I probably should bring them in. But we have three different colored rice fish. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. These are pearl scale goldfish. They're like a little golf ball with fins. They will get quite big. They are a goldfish. It's a line bred goldfish to make them perfectly round with weird scales sticking out. Yeah, they are a little bit more specialized than normal goldfish. They won't get as big as a common goldfish. Think of them as dogs, different shapes and colors of the same animal. They just are a little bit slower to the food. So you don't want to keep them with comets and shabunkins and so on and so on. But in their own tank, they are pretty impressive and weird. So if you want something cute, pearl scales are a very cute goldfish. Okay, I think we have lots of goldfish in this box. So we have a few different fantails, looks like red and white fans, shabunkin fans or calico fans, some red fans as well. Fantails are a goldfish with double tail and a little pot belly, but their pot belly is not as big as the pearl scales. <laughs> the pearl scales have a very big pot belly. We have some shabunkins, they are a motley colored goldfish. So all your common goldfish varieties with the tails, with the tails, they all have tails. With the normal tail, we'll get around 30, 40 centimeters. They do get very big, so you want 60 liters ideally for each goldfish. There are lots more shabunkins in there. Oh, we have some bigger shabunkins. Oh, there's some cool ones. Look at that. Okay, there's some really nice shabunkins. <laughs> so these will keep their color. Unlike some of the red and white goldfish that will lose the red and go all white over time, Shabunkins will stay the cool color that you see. So you can get some really, really nice patterns to them. Perfect for ponds and stuff. As I said, they get big. They're the closest thing to koi you can legally have in Queensland because we can't have koi. Oh, there are some bigger, what are you? They may be Arandas. At least one of them is an Aranda. Possibly those are Arandas. There's at least one Aranda there. Either randas or fancy goldfish, not entirely sure with that one till I look at the list. Those look like Ryukins. Okay, we've got a few different goldfish. I think labeled, but that's okay. Ryukin is like a weird shaped fantail. So they've got more of like a, a triangle sort of shape to them, I suppose you could say. Same idea, they're the same fish, just a different shape of the same fish. Confused much? Uh, you get that. We have more fantails, okay? So they do not have the perfect triangle shape. They've got more of a rounded snout. Rounded snout. Ah, now that is an aranda. That is a panda aranda. So the other ones must have been arandas. Thanks, guys. And what have we got there? We have yep, Ryukins. More Ryukins. Actually, a decent amount of Ryukins. 
That is a lot of goldfish in box number two. We're going to go to box number three. We're going to bow to bot. We're going to bow. We're, We're going, going to, to bow, bow to bot. Bo 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 Can I even talk? you've stuck around, congratulations, we are at box number three. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, are they long fin? Hey, we got long fin pandas. Oh, they are so cool. They're a really, really nice Corydoras catfish. South American, stay small, like these get about four, four and a half centimeters. Panda pattern, because that's the only black and white animal ever. But they're long fin. So big flowing fins, nice. You should get these, they're pretty cool. But we have Panda, I was gonna say Aranda. Panda Corridorus back in, long fin pandas. More guppies again. Okay, they're a little bit small, but they're healthy. We have some Otto Sinkless catfish. So be quick, Ottos are back in stock. I don't know what an auto catfish is. They are a schooling South American sucker fish that stays super, super small. There is another bag of autos as well. They all look good too. So we have quite a few good quality auto sinkless catfish. If you're seeing this and you're not too sure if I've still got them, send me a message on social media. Oh, look at them. They are blue balloon rams. I don't remember ordering blue balloon rams, but we have blue balloon rams. That's hard to say, isn't it? Blue balloon ram. Blue, 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 blam. They are South American. These are line bred of your normal blue ram to make them solid blue. And then they are genetically, not genetically modified. They are genetic, they're line bred. And then they're line bred to make them that weird round shape. I think there's males and females in there. Yes, I can see males and females as well. Usually they send us all males, but there are males and females. These sold out super fast last time. Oh, they look awesome in the bag. So they're gonna look even nicer in the tank. Oh, they are nice. So these guys are opaline gouramis, a line bred version of your normal blue free spot gourami. Lots more blue to them. Very cool. They will get around that sort of 10 centimeter size. You can have one, you can have a group. Generally just an awesome community fish if you want something tropical. Oh, Remy knows. What's in that bag? Oh. Jade perch. Apparently we got some really big jade perch. Very decent size. So these are Baku grunters is another common name for them. Australian native fish, they will get big and chunky, 40 centimeters. A little bit chunkier than the silver perch that you saw at the start of the video. But again, same sort of idea big, burly, cool native Australian fish. If you want them for an unheated tank or pond, go for these guys. Also works on aquaponics, ha <laughs> ha. We're gonna jump now to more boxes from a different wholesaler. I'm pretty sure there's angelfish and who knows what else. And we're jumping again. This is a day or two ago. We got some really cool local bred neocaridia shrimp or shrimp. We had shrimp in the last video. We have shrimp in this video. Lots and lots of shrimp. So I have, what are they? They are mixed red neocaridina. These are cheap ones, $3 each. Very, very cool little things. These are slightly more fancy. These are your Bloody Mary red shrimp. You can see how red they are in the bag. I'm not gonna worry about having these on the screen. There might be a little bit at the end of the video. Very red, very cool. These are all the same species of shrimp like neocaridina, which is cherry shrimp. But they are line bred different colors. There are some blue ones. I think there's some light blue, some dark blue. Yes, blue, blue. I'm looking as I'm talking to you, obviously. <laughs> uh, we have some yellow, so yellow Neo Caradina. They'll go really nice, bright yellow color. No, they don't taste like bananas, apparently. And we have some black. We have black Neo Caradina. So they are local bread. They're all available now as well. Back to the rest of the video. And it's like I never left, isn't it? We have another box. I think there are a lot of angelfish in this box. I'm not entirely sure what else. Well, now I'm sure. We have red tail sharks in the bag. They don't look exciting. In the tank, they go dark black, dark black. <laughs> they go dark black with red tail. These look like a shark. They're not a shark. They are from Southeast Asia algae eaters, scavengers. So if you have a dead or dying fish, these are gonna prey on them. 
but they're not going to actively hunt down and kill other fish. They do not like their own kind, so if you've got two or more in a tank, it doesn't really end well, unless you're like trying to breed them in that. So better one per tank with those guys. Or sharks. These are silver sharks. These are a schooling fish, so look like a shark, super peaceful. They get big enough to eat a neon tetris, so they get about 30, 40 centimeters. Very cool. Shiny silver, black edging on the fins. As I said, you want three or more of these because they're schooling, so they're kind of the opposite of the other sharks. I know. Oh, more silver sharks. Okay, we've got quite a few silver sharks, so enough for a school. Not a silver shark, but also schooling. These are Siamese algae eaters. So they are perfect at eating algae. They really like the hair algae, long stringy stuff that you get in tanks. They will again get quite big. They get about 15, 16 centimeters on average. So they will get a little bit big for a lot of tanks, but while they're small, they are perfect for eating algae. There's a few different types of them. I think these are the true ones. There's a false one that eats algae when it's smaller, not really when it's bigger. But a lot of these fish are a little bit slack when they're bigger with eating algae. Perfect when they're little though. What else have we got? First lot of angelfish, looks like a mixture of stripy guys and marbled angels in there. They're actually a decent size. These are local bred on the Sunshine Coast. Another bag of the same ones. That's quite a few of those. Oh, we have more sharks. Okay, there's sharks and angels in this box. That's weird. <laughs> so these are rainbow sharks, like the black shark, so the red tailed black shark. I should say, like the red-tailed black shark, but they have sort of more of a purpley gray body and they have orangey red on all the fins as opposed to just the tail. The same thing applies to them, they do better one per tank. They will fight with the red-tailed shark, so better one or the other. We have some bigger angelfish, looks like, I don't know if they're sapphire, they may be sapphire. If they look blue there, then they're sapphire. If they don't, they're just the cool stripy ones. Always hard to tell while they're in the bags. They all kind of look the same. And we have some really nice silver angels of some type. I'm not too sure what type of silver angels, but they are a silver angel. If they do have a name, I will have the name on the screen. If not, they're just a super cool silver angel. Maybe a platinum. They actually do look platinum. So let's say platinum angel. I think that was all of that. So if you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up so I know. If you want to see more unboxing videos, click that. If you want to see random aquaponics stuff, click that. If you want to see my fish room, click that. If you want to subscribe, click that. We will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.